Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Uh, today's question I've been getting an awful lot lately. It's what happens when you get traded or sent up or sent down? How do you get to the next city? Does the team provide transportation? Are you on your own to get there? Do you fly? What happens? Um, so we'll get into that today. It's happened a lot to me during my career. Um, I have never technically been sent down except from the major leagues to AAA, uh, but that happened during the off season. But I have been sent up a lot and I've been, uh, you could call it traded. I was designated for assignment and then claimed by somebody else. So technically it's almost like getting traded. I had to go from one team to another in the middle of the season. And so we're gonna talk about kind of how I got there each time. Um, and one time that was really eventful. So when that happens, when you find out that you're going up or going down or traded, uh, you get called into the manager's office. They let you know what's happening. Like I said, I've been sent up. Uh, sent up is what happened to me at least the most um, early in my career, um, I got called up at some point during the season multiple times. So you go into the uh, manager's office, they let you know that you're going up. They typically say uh, you're heading up tomorrow. You know, usually you end the game at night, and so you're not going to head out right then. Every time that I got called up, pretty much uh, when I got called up to the big leagues, when I got called up to uh, single A, when I got called up to double A, that all happened in the middle of the season. Um, and it all happened pretty much after a night game. Um, when I got called to the big leagues, it wasn't a night game, but it was a little bit later in the day and I still went out in the morning. So on all those instances, pretty much uh, I flew out. You know, if the team is really close to you, which never happened to me, um, then, you know, they could drive you over there, but I always had to fly. Um, so I'd wake up, you know, they get you a plane ticket, you show up at the airport, you have your plane ticket and you go. All right. Um, what happens also is if you have a car, so sometimes you'll have your own car. You can drive if you want, but you've got to be able to get there quick. So if your car, if uh, for instance, when I was in high A, I got called up to double A. My car was in uh, California in Lake Elsinore. That's where the league was. I got called up to double A in Texas. I had my car, but that was gonna take me a while to get there, and I needed to play that next day. And so I had to ship my car, all right? So they call it shipping your car. You basically they, you get a company to put on a truck for you, and they drive it while I jump in the plane and fly. Um, when I was in AAA with Baltimore, I got designated for assignment and claimed by the Yankees. So I had to get from, I was playing in Norfolk, Virginia um, for the Orioles, uh, and AAA, I had to go to AAA with the Yankees, and they were in Columbus, Ohio is where I had to meet them. Um, and so I ended up uh, driving my car. I had my car that time. And the only difference, the reason why I drove is because I had extended time because I'd just been claimed. I can't remember the exact rules, but I didn't need to get there immediately. I had like a couple days. So I drove my car up in that instance. All right, I didn't ship it. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to I was hoping that I could drive and had time is because when I got called up that first time from high A to double A and I went from California to Texas, I flew, I shipped my car, right? So um, I bought a new car when I got drafted, horrible investment, don't ever do it. Um, and so I got a nice new car, had them ship it. I got to Texas, um, played, the, the company said it would take a couple days. So I waited a couple days. Called the company, had a hard time getting in contact with them. Finally did. I said, hey, it's been a couple of days. Any idea where my car is? They said, oh no, it's still on the road, still still going. You'll get it, you'll get it soon. I said, okay. Waited like a couple more days, nothing. Called them again. Do you know where the car is? Talked to like three different people. No one could tell me really where it was. And then it was, oh yeah, it said uh, it had a stop here because something happened. All right, all right, cool. Wait a few more days. It ended up taking forever, like 10 days for my car to get there. They dropped the car off. I was at the field and they just dropped the car off at my apartment and left it there and took off. When I got home, um, I went in my car. Now, when you're flying out, just remember, I had to move everything. So like my 
basically my home had become Lake Elsinore, California while I was playing there. So I had everything there. I couldn't take everything on the plane, so I packed my car up. Um, so when I went to get everything out of my car, everything had been stolen. So I had suits, they were stolen. Uh, my Xbox 360 at the time, or at that time it was probably just Xbox, I can't remember. Stolen, all my video games stolen. I had a big DVD collection. I know DVD, you guys are probably like who watches DVDs. Just remember this, this happened in 2007, so 11 years ago. All my DVDs stolen. Um, what else? Everything was basically pretty much stolen except for some of my clothes. I guess I didn't have good enough style. They didn't want my clothes. Everything else they took out of the, the car. Not only that, they put about a thousand miles on my car. So um, they shipped it, which means it's not supposed to be driving, and they drove a thousand miles on it. Um, and so I'm assuming what happens is they got the car over there. I saw them put it on the truck at least, so I think they shipped it, but then I think somebody probably took it out for like a week and just used it as their personal car and drove God knows where with it, um, probably about 150 miles an hour. So, um, And then I had car issues for the rest of my time with it. I'm not saying that that was the reason, but who knows, it kind of makes me a little suspicious. I ended up selling that car a couple years ago because it was not a practical car um, when I had kids. So. That's the dangers of shipping your car. Now, I don't think that happens very often, but I ended up having to call the police and filing a report and all this stuff. And um, I ended up calling the company, obviously, and they basically said, no, we didn't drive it. Like, we don't know what happened. And someone must have stolen the stuff when the car was parked on top of the truck one night. Someone must have taken it, um, which I locked the doors and everything, and they were the only ones with the keys, and there was no marks, there was no signs that anyone broke into the car or anything, so I have a pretty good idea who stole it. But anyways, I was in the middle of the year, I didn't really do it, I just, you know, filed a report with the police, and I think insurance gave me some money to, I lost a lot of stuff, like thousands of dollars worth of stuff probably out of the car, so um, that was the dangers of shipping, and I never ever did that again, luckily I didn't have to. Um, but those are really the main ways of, of doing it. So you're typically gonna fly, you can drive if you've got your car, but you better get there quick if you have to and end up shipping your car. And the team always takes care of all, all that stuff. So um, when I did drive, I believe the, the team, I can't remember exactly, but I think the team may have provided some type of uh, compensation for that, for the miles that I put on the car because they're supposed to, um, you know, they're gonna, they would have flown me out if I didn't have a car. So. Um, I'm pretty sure they did that. And same thing when the season ends. So when the season is over, when you complete a season, the team is gonna fly you to wherever you, you wanna go. So you just let them know your hometown and they fly you out there. Same thing when you're coming to spring training. They fly you to spring training. Um, that one year that I had my car in California, worst idea of my life, my wife and I actually drove out. Well, um, she was my girlfriend at the time, we drove <laughs> from Massachusetts to Arizona. It took us like 40 something hours. Uh, I don't know why we did it. I wanted my car. I kind of know why I did it. I wanted my car and I'd already had that issue with shipping it. So I didn't want to ship it again. I was like scared. So I, we drove 40 hours. It took us like three days. We stopped a bunch of times. Um, and then the team again, uh, will give you money for those miles. So um, it's not like you make any money, but at least it pays for gas and stuff like that. Um, and they'll do that on the way home too. If you don't wanna fly home and you wanna drive, you have your car, they'll do the same exact thing. So that's how you get from place to place when you're sent up, sent down, beginning of the season, end of the season, traded, all that stuff. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If anybody knows who stole my stuff and drove my car, let me know. And that's all I got. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. Check the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out. And that's all I got. Take care, everybody. See ya.